Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. Anyways, let's get started. Let's just go right into your settings. In your settings, your first option will say your device's name or your own name. Just click there and make that backup on iCloud. If you have no more space on iCloud, don't worry about it. Use iTunes on your computer or if you guys have a Mac, go ahead and use Finder in order to make that backup. And if you're having any problems, same deal. You guys can go ahead and use your computer to update your iPad. Once you have done so, scroll down. You're going to see general. Under general, your second option will say software update. Click on software update. You might see this checking for updates. That's okay. You should find this at this moment and it's only 87 megabytes. What does that mean? Well, this means the entire update itself should not take more than 10 minutes. Now, yes, with slower internets out there, it could take a little bit longer. But for most of you, this entire update, downloading plus installation time will not take longer than that. So let's just tap on downloading and install. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's going to start downloading. And then it's going to ask you to install or you guys can just leave your iPad and it's just going to install it by itself. So that's why I usually suggest, even though you might have more than 50% of your battery already, just go ahead and hook it up some electricity just in case there are older iPads out there that don't hold their charge like they used to. So that's why I always, always suggest hooking up some electricity so that way it won't die on you once it's actually installing the update. If it dies out on you, turns off when it's downloading the update, it's no big deal. Just re-download it. You're all good. However, if any errors happen when it's installing, then you might have to restore your iPad and that's why we made that backup just in case something goes wrong. At this point in time, just wait for this to download and then we're just going to click on install. Some of you may not have seen download and install. You may have just seen install and that's okay. That just depends on your settings. Maybe your settings are set to download whatever new updates out there. So it's ready for you guys to install right away. All right. So after a few minutes, you will see this install now. Just tap on install now. You're going to see verifying update and then it's just going to restart. We're going to see an Apple logo and a loading bar. So here is the Apple logo and the loading bar. After that, it's just going to restart and then we're going to be done with the update. Okay, so we are all done. That's it for this update. That's just putting our password to get in. And once we put in our passcode, we are all done. That's it for this update. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.